Um, we believe very much that the power of consciousness and the power of thought influences everything that's happening in the world around us. And so when my thoughts are peaceful and free from conflict, then I create a situation in which there can be peace and harmony in relationships with others and even other forms of life as well as nature. And so that is the basic stance that we're sharing here. Okay, so that's the message that you bring to the COP21, which is actually a negotiation between governments of states. So you are trying to give another message, which is more about personal evolution, right? Definitely, because we believe that everything starts with the individual. And if even a minority group has a powerful voice, then they're able to impact the leaders and the majority. And so there can then be worldwide change. And I see that that's what's happening. So many leaders yesterday spoke about the change of heart, the change of consciousness, the change of mindset. And so these ideas are reaching. <laughs> So yeah, so you would say that the religious leader had an influence on the political leader. It took years, but now it's on. Um, I think it's not just a question of religious leaders. I think they've seen that um, the things that are happening across the world, um, it's as if humans have forgotten to stay in touch with their own hearts. It's the heads that are functioning, and now it's time for the heart to come back in again. So actually, uh, countries need to educate their people in this way this is it so it's not about binding agreement it's more about educational agreement definitely but it has to start with myself and so the change of awareness and the shift in my consciousness means that I don't need so much to take from outside at the moment the consumerism that we're seeing even in the developing world sometimes is really as if there's Uh, hundreds of planets that we can take from and we can't there's a limit and so when you turn inwards and connect with the happiness and joy that's within then your lifestyle becomes a very simple one and so you don't need so much from outside but there's a spirit of generosity and care in which you're able to share with others and how do you expect the world leaders to put this kind of philosophical reflection into the negotiation? I think it's another aspect that has to come into the negotiations. It's one planet, one home, and we share the same. And anything happening to one part of the world has an immediate impact on the other part of the world. And so I think that's what has to come into the negotiations, that we share this one home. We are one family. And so just to look at things from the perspective of my country isn't going to work anymore. And so we all survive together or we all sink together. That's the reality of the situation we find ourselves in now. So you actually do not believe that the state should negotiate with, to each other like if they were, I don't know, gambling or making business. They should negotiate as only one party. It shouldn't be the conference of parties, but the conference of party. I think that that is the big shift that has to happen, that we are one family, it's one home, and we all have to work together in a spirit of cooperation and not competition with each other. Within negotiation, sometimes it feels as if it's a competition, but in fact, it's only going to be through cooperation that we can tackle the subject. There's no other way. Okay, so what about religious leaders? Should they speak, all of them, with only one voice? Um, I think as far as the environment and climate change goes, everybody speaking with one voice is a subject that all of us are in agreement with, that humanity has drifted away from its compass and it has to come back again to the essentials of life and the understanding of respect and regard for all of creation. Okay, just to conclude, if you, you are speaking about the personal development and the personal action on ourselves. In just one sentence, what would you recommend to any human being on Earth? 
make a conscious choice knowing that your decision about what you buy, what you eat, what you wear, what you do is going to have an impact on your carbon footprint and is going to set a trend and an example for others to follow also. Thank you very much for your time and for your answers.